everyone. Good afternoon. Well, it's a very bright and sunny afternoon here in Singapore. And hi, uh, for all of you watching me for the first time, my name is Jen and I'm a working mother to two teenagers. Um, I'm also a digital business owner. Um, today is actually 2nd October. Um, as you know, I have embarked on a Discovery October, which is knowing me, basically to find uh, out a little bit for, more about myself. Today, I am just going to do a quick sharing about um, what is my biggest fear. Um, actually, as I thought about it, um, I am actually quite a fearless person, you know, and uh, people who know me knows that I'm quite daring, you know, and I think particularly maybe because um, of what I've went through in life, particularly um, during my second pregnancy, I actually almost uh, lost um, my life and my second boy's life, uh, possibly uh, to some complications. But I guess because I um, overcome that, you know, so even fear doesn't seem to, I mean, death itself doesn't seem so fearful to me anymore. So, you know, the, the primary thing that I am quite uh, a little bit fearful now is that you know, when I was so much younger, I loved to go on roller coaster rides, biking, you know, that's my love. But I don't know why, now, um, even a few years back, I didn't have the courage to go on any of those co uh, roller coasters anymore. So that's probably more on that little fun side. Uh, on a serious note, um, as you may have heard about some of my sharing earlier, um, I actually almost lost two of my sons uh, to some reasons and uh, I'm very grateful that I'm now being reunited with them. So probably, you know, if there's any fear now, my fear is that um, having to lose them again and not, um, it's, the, the fear of losing them is more like I'm not able to be by their side to take care of them during these growing up years. Um, you know, really due to any unforeseen circumstances, particularly in this pandemic situation. So this is probably the the uh, the parts that I'm a little bit more fearful about. That what happens if anything happens to me, um, then they probably don't have anyone else to depend on, because as a single mother, they depend on me in all aspects of their needs. So uh, this is a little bit of sharing, but I guess. Um, to be on the positive side is that um, it's something that I can work on, you know, and that's why I uh, that's something why I love about this online business, you know. Um, I'm trying to be, because of this, it gives me a lot of um, I would say opportunity to have time with my children, yet able to still earn um, this income as a side hustle. So I am really trying to treasure every moment I have with my children and this is truly made possible you know, through this uh, amazing system of this online business. So um, treasuring the, the time with them, living every moment to its fullest so I won't leave to any regrets. And also the amazing thing is that at least I know this business allows me to leave a legacy for my children. So in any case, anything happens to me, they are well taken care of. So uh, basically that's what I have to share. So other than that, I am basically a fearless person. <laughs> yeah, so um, just want to thank everybody who is hopping on to say hello to me, watching me live. I truly appreciate that on a Saturday afternoon. So yeah, hello, hello Delphine, Jacqueline, Lydia. Uh, Lucy, yeah, and uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see uh, all of you tomorrow again on uh, my third, um, third day to share something more about myself. Then I'll see you then. Hi Melissa, thank you and you have an amazing Saturday ahead. Bye.